With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so the question is a block attached with an ideal spring is capped on a smooth horizontal surface that means there is no friction between the block and the surface. Now the free end of the spring is pulled with a constant velocity u horizontally then the maximum energy stored in the spring and block system during subsequent motion is we have to tell about the maximum energy stored in this whole system. Now as you can see that the this is the initial position at initial position the system is in natural length this is the position there is a block of mass m and there is a spring at initially this is the initial position and at initial the block is in natural length okay the block is in natural length now this spring whose constant is k is moving with the constant velocity u this the velocity of it, this spring is constant that means it is always remains u now it start pull this block that means shm start okay when this spring is start pull the this block that means simple harmonic simple harmonic motion is starts and when simple harmonic motion is start that means velocity of this block is increasing now the suppose the velocity of this block is v okay and when simple harmonic motion start because of this spring pulled this block the velocity of block that is v is increase and there is a time when the velocity of this block is equal to the velocity of the spring there is a time when the velocity when the velocity is increased that means extension is takes place extension is happens okay extension happen now there is a time when the velocity of block is equal to the velocity of spring that means v equals to u at this time there is a maximum extension okay there is a maximum extension after that if we pulled this block further that means the velocity of this block is further increasing that means there is a time when the velocity of this block is 2u double of the spring velocity that means compression start and at 2u position the so this is the second position this is the constant velocity this is the mass m and at one point the velocity of block is equal to the velocity of u and this is the position of maximum extension after that if we pull this block more that means the velocity of this block is still increased and there is a point when the velocity of this block is double of the velocity of double of the velocity of this spring this is the position of natural length this is the position of natural length if we still increase this if we still pulled this block that means at that time now this will uh, a compression happens after that compression is happens compression happens and the velocity of block is now decreasing velocity of block that is v which is now equals to to you in natural length now it start decreasing and at one point it is now again to you there is a point when it is again to you when it is again u if we again pull this block that means at one time this velocity is decreasing now after decreasing at one point this is again in u that means compression compression is happens if further we further we pull this block that means velocity at one point the velocity of this block is zero because velocity is now decreasing compression is happens now there is a time when the velocity of this block is zero that this is the position of again extension that means in natural length process is a repeat processes are repeat again and again 
extension maximum extension then the position of natural length and then again compression maximum compression and then natural length then again extension maximum ex extension that means the processes are repeat in natural length and the velocity of block is first time the velocity of block is increasing and after that it is decreasing so as you can see that this is the position of natural length in this position the system stores maximum energy this is the position in this position the system is stores maximum energy maximum energy so for this the energy is given by kinetic energy is half m and the velocity of this block is 2u square so 2u square that is written as k equals to half 4m u square 2 2 cancel out so that means kinetic energy is coming out to be 2m u square kinetic energy that is the maximum kinetic energy which is equals to 2m u square and maximum kinetic energy is at the natural length okay i hope you all understand this whole process so the answer is 2 mu square maximum kinetic energy okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today